Hi Cancer, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on the cards. This reading is good for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube, and thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. I'm not accepting personal readings, so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below. Alright, the Four of Wands as your main energy, the Two of Wands... The High Priestess. I'm sorry if you're picking up on the noise in the background. My two dogs are playing. And then the Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. The Nine of Cups, and then the Queen of Wands. All right. Okay. Very different energy. Underneath the deck is the... Why isn't it focusing? Is the King of Swords. All right. You could be dealing with a Gemini, very much Gemini energy, or just... You could have these placements as well. The person that you're dealing with. You, you're you not in communication with this person. Right? I'm getting this in the reverse. The king of swords in the reverse. So this is someone you're not speaking to at the moment. This could be someone who has withheld a lot of information from you. For some of you, take it how it resonates. For some of you... Just this is someone who you're not in communication with. Again, you're not in communication with. But this person has a lot, has you on their mind 24-7. They think about you a lot. Right? This could be someone from another country or another culture. Take it how it resonates because the King of Swords is an international card. With the Four of Wands as your overall energy, this is my 1111 card, so do make your wish. This is also my Halfway to Marriage card. For some of you, this person could be coming back in to ask you for another shot, to offer you, for, to, to offer you a higher form of commitment. But for some of you, simply this person wants to come back and be successful this time around. This is someone who you've actually considered ending up with. But it took some time. It took some time for them to get to the finish line. So maybe for some of you, this person is getting a divorce or has been recently divorced. All right, because this is a marriage card as well. Some of you, it took them time to, you know, get to the finish line to get to you. There's just this energy of the need to sort things out with them. So yeah, maybe for some of you, they're getting out of a marriage. For some of you, they're getting out of an engagement or just a higher form of commitment. For some of you, they're just very confused what do what they want what do they want to prioritize do they want to prioritize work do they want to prioritize their family their finances their personal life do they want to do everything now before they come forward to you and just you know commit themselves fully to you but someone is about to get to the finish line the finish line it's you the goal is you the goal is to have you. 
All right. With the two of uh, wands to the page of swords, again, even if you're not in contact with this person, this person just looks at you from a distance. Again, could be long dis uh, could be living at a distance from you, probably physically. All right. Long distance doesn't always mean like uh, in another state, another country. Could be another city. Could be like a um like how can i say five streets down it's a distance really i don't know i don't know take it how it resonates but this is someone who still checks you up online they're very much updated about what's happening in your life they know every detail about you so if you don't want to want this person to know what you're up to or how your life is right now Maybe it's time to, you know, um, how can I say this? Uh, put your settings on private. For some of you, you have friends that are close to this person or some of your close friends are updating this person of how you're doing because they ask them to. But just this person sees you from a distance, looks at you from afar. And they know everything about you. Alright? No matter if you're not in contact with this person. Even if you're not in contact with this person. They know. They just know. But right now, things are silent between the two of you. Alright? With the High Priestess to the Nine of Cups. Intuitively, you know. Actually, intuitively, you know that this person will come back to you. Intuitively you know that you are this person is wishing you back into their life as well and intuitively you know that the wish of being back together will be granted but right now things are silent between the two of you the high priestess is mute a mute so things are silent between the two of you just there's no communication completely With the Ten of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands. This person really wants a long-term, stable relationship with you. They will come forward. They're, they're very much attracted to you. That's how, how I put it. They're very much attracted to you, magnetized towards you. They find you beautiful, sexy, fierce, brilliant, all right, driven. There's no one else like you. And this person feels young at heart when they're with you. The Queen of Wands is the youngest queen in the deck, all right? So you act in a very... How can I say that? Like you feel like you're young and this person makes you make, how can I say that? Feels like they're young around you. You are this person's sunshine I'm hearing. You are this person's sunshine. The outcome is the Page of Cups, the Six of Wands, and then the Nine of Swords. Advice. Alright, Page of Cups, Six of Swords, and then the Nine of Nine of Swords. Again, Page of Cups, Six of Wands, and then the Nine of Swords, I'm sorry. This person is going to come in. Surprisingly, you actually don't expect this person to come back in, but they will. They will offer an apology. They will ask, you know, can they still have a shot? They're just going to throw it out there. I 
for some reason, I just got that. They are just going to throw it out there, ask you for another shot. Why? It's a page that's, that's coming out. It's a page that's coming out. So pages tend to, you know, young people tend to just throw it out there, whatever they're thinking of. They throw it out there. Just tell you. This person will just tell you that they still want another shot with you. They still want you in their life. They, you know, they miss you and they're sorry and they love you so much. Can you start over again? Of course you can. It's always up to you. It's always up to you. There's going. This is going to be a successful union, all right? With the six of wands, this is going to be a successful reunion. And then the Nine of Swords. For some of you, you're a little bit anxious when this person comes in. What, this per what does this person really want? All right. Are they coming in just for a good time or are they here to stay? Take it out, resonates. And if it doesn't sit with you properly, just use your intuition. All right. Let's see. These are three people. You could have a choice coming in, all right? You have one, two, you have three pages and two, two knights. Actually, underneath the deck is another knight. Is another knight, all right? I didn't show you, but yeah, underneath the deck was another knight, knight of pentacles. You could have a choice coming in, but more so, It's time for you to let go of the past image of this person. This person was kind of a player, all right? Non-committal, I have to say, very non-committal. Just very flirty and playful. And like sometimes they don't th take things seriously. And it's kind of frustrating when you are someone who loves this person so much and really shows them, and you really show them, shows them, and you really show them like how much you love them. And just this person doesn't feel like they're taking it seriously. You have to let go of that image of them, right? This person is going to come in with a lot of love to show, going to give you those grand gestures that you deserve, tells the whole world that uh, they love you. All right? Let's see other messages, please. All right. I told you earlier, it's up to you, right? I was talking about the, if you could have another shot, if this will work out. So it's always up to you. And then, it says there, you don't know how hard it was to let you go, all right? This person tried, they can't. And then, I don't react to people when they mention you. Hmm. Like they don't react like the high priestess who doesn't really react. I left when I saw you with someone. I hope that you can forgive me one day. And then I replay our conversations over and over again. So do remember, Cancers, Cancerians that these are different messages and it's going to re resonate for different people. All right. That is all I have for you. I hope something in this reading resonated. And if it did, please give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.